Hey you guys, my name is Marissa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing to you a try on, first impression, um, swatch video basically, and review of the new L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paints. I was recently gifted 12 of the new shades to share with you today. I'm gonna do lip swatches and then I'm gonna give you what I think about them at the end of the video. Also for the makeup look that I'm wearing today, I did an everyday makeup routine and if you guys are interested in seeing that, click the card right there. But let's get on with the lip swatches. you some of my thoughts. First of all, the pros, the colors are very true to the tube. Also, they give a really beautiful kind of like glossy melted down lipstick look. Very similar to a certain other more high-end brands melted lipstick. The Flock as it's called or also known as the Doe Foot, it has like kind of a scoop to it that applies really well on the edge of the lips so you get a really precise application each and every time. Now for the cons, some of them didn't apply as well on the first swipe. That's not to say that you can't build it up and get the evenness and the saturation that you want from these. They definitely can be built up, like I said, 
to um, have the exact same shade as on the tube, which is always important. Some of them applied a little bit patchy, like the nudes I wasn't super obsessed with. They are really good nudes that are very true nudes. Um, and then another downside, which I find is very common with other drugstore brands is that there aren't very many browns and I absolutely love brown tone nudes and brown tone darker shades. A lot of this is very red and pink toned. Some of my favorite shades are Topless. I love this one. I think it's like an edgy, cool Instagram girl look. Orange Envy. I love myself a good orange lip and I think it adds a little bit of a cool twist to a red. Also in the winter time orange is a little bit unexpected which I think is cool and then the one that I've mixed today with sultry sangria is this one called bewitching Bordeaux I love a good dark like pinot noir well Bordeaux lip just something so dark and and vampy so overall I'm very impressed with these I think that they apply really nicely even though there are some that take a little bit longer to build up none of them are overly patchy which you can get sometimes with super pigmented shades. You also build them up to the actual shade that's on the tube, which is really important to me at least. Um, and I love that you get really high color impact and a lot of different bold colors in one range. So that's it for my first impression swatch review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below which one you would like to try the most. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed me doing swatch reviews because I don't really do these. Just wanted to know if you guys like them. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any more from me. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!